What's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to some more Terra Nils. So we are back for playing the preview build that we got so graciously early access to. Again, I'll have a link down below for you guys to head on over to uh, check out Terra Nils wishlist to get it ready. Get it. It's 28th. It's coming. I'm super excited. Today we're gonna hop in the tropical and we're gonna continue on and reclaim a tropical wasteland area. I am so excited. Hopefully you guys are too. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And what do we have going on here? Generating map. Okay. Tropical. You need to begin by cleaning the surrounded oceans and reinduce, reintroducing plant life. Toxin scrubbers are integral as they clean both land and sea. Both greenery and clean ocean contribute towards your goal. Climate manipulation is possible from the outset here. Okay. So let's look at what we got. Oh, oh, look at the dirty water. Oh, it's like poo. It's poo water. Oh, it is poo water indeed. Okay. So what we need to do, let's start over here and let's bring in a wind turbine. Just one wind turbine. So toxin scrubbers. Oh, so that is going to clean the ocean a little bit. Okay, so we get, let's get one there. Oh, look at the beautiful blue water. It's amazing. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. All right. And then we'll go ahead and get um, that in there. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. Now what I'm hoping is that as we like go along and do everything, like the water will like all the water will eventually turn, which it probably will. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. Got to do as much as we can. And then let's go ahead and get some, uh, get some greenery in here. Shall we? Let's see, 64, 87. You know, I kind of really want to fill in everything. So we're just going to fill in as much as we possibly can here. And then another 56 right here. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we place that one down, let's go ahead and get that placed. You know what we should do in all honesty is we should place our wind turbines down first. Well, to a point, because as we get, as we get grass and stuff, it, gets, it feeds us. Um, but if I do it this way, we can kind of have an idea of where I can place these at to maximize our, you know, everything else. So let's see, I'm going to place one here. And then when we start running low on the, uh, on the grass, grass bucks, the grass monies, <laughs> whatever they're called, uh, then we'll start placing in the other things. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to use these to kind of like fill in everywhere we can. So now I can put this in here and it will cover a much, much bigger area of effect. So there, see now it even got some of these over here. Ha <laughs> ha. We are learning. We're becoming the environmental engineers that we always knew we were. All right. So let's see. Actually, this one would be probably the most beneficial. Unless we did like an angle. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do an angle here. And then we'll do a straight right there. So I'll grab this. Throw that down. Throw that down there. Grab some of this. Oh yeah, look at that. Dude, would you just look at that? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I can't wait till we get all this beautiful blue water. Oh, it's going to be so good looking. So we have to get 261 more uh, ocean tiles claimed. Holy moly. So we're going to need a calcifier for sure. Wait, what is this? Hold on a second. Mineralizer. Oh. So we can put that anywhere. What? So I can place that there. No way. And then, and then what, what do I do from that point? And then place that there. And then what do we, what do we do from that? What's the, what's the purpose beyond that? I can't place anything out here. Hmm. What is, what does that actually do? What did that do for me? <laughs> like I get that I can place it, but why? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, oh, okay. That might be why. 
Okay, okay, that might be why. All right, well, we'll not worry about that right now. Um, but we do need to get this 261 here. And then we don't actually have the... So I guess we can place this next to the land like this. Okay, so I can place that there. And then I can place a wind turbine on here to cover that area. And then we can place this here. Aha, there we go. That might be the purpose of it. Okay the the porpoise so instead of having the other thing we have this so we can place that there we can place this here and then we can place this here and then we can keep covering more water with that yeah that's not too bad okay i i, I see what we're doing here so what's the next biggest area of body of water that we can do uh maybe right here Right here might be good. Okay, let's do that. We'll do this. We'll do that. Do we hit 100 on that yet? Oh, we're close enough. Okay, so what is this? A sand bank. Oh, it makes an island. Create a small island on which buildings can be placed. That's fantastic because our little thing out here that we did nothing with. Uh... We could do this and then place this on top of it and clean all that water. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Okay. All right. Um, so hold on. <laughs> Before we go, get going too far, target greenery coverage percentage. Filling this is your primary goal. Okay. So we let's get the greenery done first before we get ahead of ourselves too much here. So we've already got that area cleared up. So let's get that one. We get that one there. I'm running low. I know we need to we need to get going on actually getting. So plus 134. There's plus 111. So like I said, we just gotta fill out the, the majority here. There's another 114. So yeah, we're trying to, I'm trying to fill out because I have a lot of area that we can start filling in with grass. Uh, we just haven't done it yet. So like this area right here can probably be, it's gonna give us plus 100 or plus 65. All right, 83%, we're getting close. All right, so I think we got our greenery. We're at 99% greenery. Or are we at 99% because we need more water? Uh, let's do this. Okay, so let's throw this in. You know what? Let's throw this in here. Let's get this in here. This guy. In there. All right, there we go. 102%. Okay. The next step is increasing biodiversity. Restore beaches, mangroves, and tropical rainforests. You'll also need to provide... Use the monorail network to transport coral polyps to the sea. Oh, there's a monorail? No way. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this, just start with that because we know what we're doing here. Um, what is this? Construct three or more combustors to unlock. Oh, what is this combustor? <laughs> catches everything on fire burn surrounding vegetation to increase atmospheric temperature more carbon dense vegetation is more effective okay so uh we need ooh. let's go ahead and get the wetlands in first maybe because that seems like something that we know how to do easily and okay we unlock that tile what is this tile is this the Oh, salinator increases the salinity of the surrounding area by allowing mangroves to flourish. Okay. I'm curious about this combustor though. Oh, it has to be lit on this area. Holy moly, plus eight C. Now, how does that work with plus six, plus three, but we need, what is, what, what is the temperature that we're needing here? So the highest temperature that I can see is we've got 30, 40. 
35, 40C. So it's got to be hot. We need a hot. Okay, so we need like 40C. So what I'm thinking is maybe we should wait. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can get some rainfall in here. Let's see if we can get some rainfall in here. Um, and get these other blocks all filled in, you know? That might help us get everything else going here. Okay, so there's those. Um, let's see. 8% would get us a 94. Do we get rain? When do we get rain? <laughs> thunderstorms begin. Oh, thunderstorms begin at 99% and 35C. Oh, well darn. Um, okay, hold on. Maybe we should get some water in here. Fill these things in. All right, so we're going to fill these water things in right here. So we're not going to get rain until we get the temperature up. Okay, so then to get the temperature up, we need a more dense vegetation type. So if I switch this... Where does this have to go? Why can't I get... Oh, temperature cannot grow. Okay, so we're too cold still. So we have to get the combustors going. All right, I'm going to do this area because I, I get 8C right here. Okay, so that raised us up to 10. Are we good yet? Not yet. Almost. Okay, so one more combustor maybe right here. Hey, migratory birds return. Oh, look at that. We're doing the things. Okay, so now we can turn, increase the salinity of the surrounding area. So where can we place this? Now, does this take away from... Oh, we don't actually have a wetlands requirement this time. So we can place that in mangroves okay so what we need yeah we need mangroves you know what we if we do one more combustion thing we'll get that whatever on is unlocked next so let's just hit it crabs populate the beaches oh man and then what do we unlock um latarium oh captures sand to form beaches and dunes must be built on a toxin scrubber Oh. Ideal. Plus 10. Oh. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a crab. There's a little crab dude right there. There's like a wake pool and stuff. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that looks nice. All right, so now uh, we got to get a whole bunch of sand. We got to get a whole bunch of mangroves. We need tropical forest and coral reef. We don't have coral reef yet. So uh, what is this? Shade cloth. Shady areas where tropical forests thrive must be built on the side of a cliff. What? So I place one there. And then... Maybe one here, and then one here. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wait, hold on. If we get the temperature up to 35, uh, then we'll be able to get rain, and then that'll fill in. That'll start filling in everything. Oh, let's do that. We're not very far off from 35. Gonna hit plus four. Six, that's 32. That gets 34. Okay, hold on. We literally just need 35. Do we have thunderstorms? Oh, it's greater than 35. Okay, I literally just need like one tiny little bit more and we'll be golden right here. Boom. Thunderstorms should roll in. 
Oh, 99% humidity. Oh, it's off on the humidity just a little bit. Boom. We've got thunderstorms, which means everything should start turning green now. And then we can place things wherever we need to. Oh my gosh, let the rain roll in. Let the rain roll in. Come on, thunderstorms. I want to see it fill in the greenness. Come on, thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, <laughs> where, where are you, thunderstorm? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I, I I hear it. I hear it. Are we getting our rain? I want to wait for the rain because I want to let the rain do the do the do the watering here, and then we can place um our our tarps, our nets here, and we getting any rain yet? Oh come on, start raining. Because if it's not wet first, yes. There it goes. <laughs> we are victorious. <laughs> Oh, look at all the rain filling in. Oh, yes. Magnificent it is. Oh, how wonderful. All right, let's start turning some things into wetlands because we need to start getting things uh, salinated as well. Okay, so let's see. Uh, where's our salinator at? Plus 53. Plus zero. Minus six. Oh, look at our rainforest is slowly popping up too. Oh, it's looking so good. Uh, let's see. We can do this over here. Plus 11. I need just a little bit more wetland here. Um... I'm gonna place that there. I'm gonna turn that into a wetland deal. And then we're gonna turn that into salt. Boom. All right, so there is our, we've got our mangrove done. So now we need to get our beaches done. Oh, it's cleared up all the, the dirty water too. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I love it so much. Okay, so we need beaches. These have to be placed on scrubbers. So we can place that there. Plus 16 on that one. That's gonna be minus six overall, but it's gonna help out that. And then, oh, we're so close. Let's see, where else can we put one of these at? Oh, hold on. Right here. That might give us just what we need, it did. All right, so what is this? Oh, this is our monorail network, our monorail node. Nodes in range of one another connect to allow the movement of buildings along the monorail network. All right, so I'm not sure exactly what that, oh, we need to get our, uh, we need to finish getting our shade in here too. So let's go ahead and let's do, um, let's do one here. One there. One there. Can I get another one in here? Oh yeah, plus 107 right there. Oh my gosh, yes. Plus another 33. Oh, I like how they just connect. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love that. Um, Do I have anywhere else I can place one of these? Right there. Oh my gosh, we've done it. Okay, so we've got the rainforest done. So now we need to get the coral reef, which is, I think, this. But I don't know where this needs to go. Okay, so I put one there. Use the monorail node ability one more time. Okay, so now what? Okay, it requires rock, but I don't understand. Move a building in range of this monorail node to in range of any other connected monorail node. What? Oh, we have to target a valid building.
Oh. Well, how do I get the coral wreath in there? Okay, well, like, hold on. Okay, so I have to click on this one, and then I want to move. Well, I don't want to move that. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let me put up another node. Uh, I don't even really know where else I can put up a node, to be completely honest here. Let's see if I put a node there. Huh. Put one there. And then, okay, so like if I went through and did this, like right here, and I place a node here. I don't, I don't know why I want to move anything though, but I guess we'll, we'll do this. We'll move this guy to here. I don't see the purpose of that though, but okay. Coral lab. Grow coral from polyps, which can be moved with the monorail into a clean ocean must be built on an irrigator. Okay. See, I understand that. I just don't, I, I guess maybe for cleanup, we can use them the monorails for cleanup stuff. Uh, okay. So I have to build this on an irrigator and Okay, is that within range of no yes it is okay so how do i move those so this this no not actually sure gross coral from palms which can be moved with a monorail into clean ocean must be built on an irrigator oh I think we have to wait for it to get done. Oh, okay. It has to go. Okay. So we can drop it anywhere in here. Well, I just saw a 61 right here somewhere. All right. So I place that there. Oh, so it sucks it up. And then drops that off. Boop. And then this monorail throws it out in the ocean. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm understanding. Okay, cool. So if I want to do this again, I can place that there. And then I can select this monorail. Plug this there. And then unfortunately, plus five. Like that's not a lot, but I mean, it's something. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. This is more challenging than I was initially than I was expecting from when I played before. This is much more challenging and I really like it. I think they did a really, really good job with it. Okay. So now if I want to do a coral deal, this has to go on what on the, on these, but I need. Okay. So for us to do this, what I essentially need is I need monorails. Um, I need like one there and then I'm going to need one, maybe this area, maybe over here, maybe over here, here. I'm trying to think where I can connect all these up to. So that'll connect those. That'll connect that. That'll connect that. Okay. So now I can go ahead and I can place down uh, because what I need is the um i need these irrigators to place that down and then i can place this on top of the irrigator see this is going to get expensive right here because i'm not doing anything to really replace any greenery so now i can place this and we can basically place this as far out as we can so 40 right there and then I can lock and load another one in right here as well. But I want to watch. I want to watch the coral go out here and get spread into the ocean. <gasps> oh, look at that. And then the coral comes out and it's good. Oh, it's good. Wait, did we get everything done? Oh, we knocked out everything. Heck yes. Okay. That looks so good. I love that. All right. So basically I need to do the same thing. Um, throw one there. Throw one there. Now I gotta be careful because I do have to clean up still. 
Like we still got the cleanups to do. But now I can throw this and I think it was plus 25 right there. And then plus 49, 62 right there. See, I think we might have enough in order to do this. I don't know that I can place any more though. Yeah, this looks too deep right here. Oh, we've done it. Okay, monorails can then be utilized for recycling. So connect your airship to the monorail network. Uh, reintroduce marine and te uh, terrestrial life animals to help maintain the ecosystem when you leave. So really what I need to do is I need to get all these monorails connected up. <laughs> all right, so what is this? Recycler station. Oh, okay, so we have to connect via monorail now. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Wait, where is... Use recycling beacons to direct recycling drones. Drones will prioritize further beacons. Okay. Construct one more recycler station. Uh, can't construct a recycler... Oh, I gotta get this guy first. <laughs> I was like, wait. What's going on here? Um, where do I want this guy? Oh, man, we need to be able to have him... Wow, he's really big. Uh, I don't even have a spot that I can put him like on the, oh, here we go. That would actually be perfect. Okay. So we'll do that. Then what does this unlock? Okay. Recycling beacon. Oh, place a monorail node, place on a monorail node to signify to the, the recycling beacon should be dispatched to the recycling area. Rock hopper. Moves a rock from one location to another. Um, oh, so you can move your beacons probably. So if you have a, a rock somewhere, you can throw it out somewhere else. Okay. So let's do this. So we have these buildings still. So let's start off by getting everything connected via the monorail network. So let's go ahead and let's get in here. Place that there. Grab this. That's going to connect to those. I basically want to get a network going all the way around. And then we need to get one connected over here. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Oh, man. I don't know if it'll connect right here, though. Let's try. Will that connect? Connect those two and then connect this one, though. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, maybe I can have them just connected on one side. <laughs> Like going around wondering I can't get I just can't get this one connected right here like this one just doesn't want to Just doesn't want to do its thing. Well, you know what? Maybe I can hold on a second. I do this one there I do another one there and then You go into here put one here grab this guy put this one here I should connect up all those okay, so those are all connected. I gotta be careful though I only have so much we only have so much stuff but I'd like to get everything connected up. Uh, okay, so let's see. Another one of these. Are you kidding me? That one didn't reach right there. I'm going to place one literally right next to it. That's fine. We could use the rock hopper here, but I think we're I think we're doing good here. Okay, so now I need to get... Oh, man. I need to get from over here to over here. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to happen. That is a long ways... That is a really long ways. That's not going to happen. But you know what? We're all connected all the way around that way. So I guess maybe we can just connect this side around and down over here. Perfect. Okay, so that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. So basically, if I just go into here, grab this guy. Oh, can I grab another one of these? <gasps> oh, I cannot. Okay, so we have to connect via that one. That's fine. Okay, so we are all connected now. So now we can go through and we can start the cleanup process. This is going to be so much fun. I love the cleanup process. Oh, we got to be careful because we also have... We've also got all this stuff in the middle here. I need to make sure that we bring all this far enough out. See, that's the problem. These used to be able to pick up each other, but now they they don't. Definitely makes it trickier. 
All right, I'm trying to clean up what I can. I'm just kind of throwing these down to wherever I get the most items. The problem, like I said, though, is uh, is going to be getting everything because we're going to have to place some monorail somewhere to like get other stuff. Because like I got to get these canopy nets down. Um, gotta get all these canopy nets down. Do we even get the little boats anymore? We don't. We have to use the monorails. Okay. Um, actually, this might work. I might be able to actually put a monorail right here. And then we're going to have to use the rock hopper for sure to get things <laughs> to get things all picked up. All right, we're getting close. Um, I got to get these picked up. These little buildings right here, those also have to get picked up too. And it's kind of tricky to do that. Like that one's kind of way out there. <laughs> so I kind of need, I think I need one of these. How am I going to get this to work? If I place that there, is that going to be enough for this to grab it? Oh my gosh, just barely. All right, so we've got almost everything picked up here. I just, I think I need to start using the beacon and start marking what I want taken out. I gotta keep in mind, this is gonna destroy the, this is gonna destroy the node too. But this is also going to give me back a whole bunch of recycled resources. So, hey, look at that. Boop. Magically comes back. Okay. So there's that one. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let's start at this end. Okay. So I need to start. I think I need to start here. It's going to grab all of these, I think. We could go ahead and probably mark this one as well. Man, this one, this little guy has a long ways to go. I'm sure there's a much more efficient way to do this. The rock hopper would have been the way to go, I think, but you know what? That's, we just do things differently. That's the beauty about this game is you can play it however you want. And there she went. Okay, so there's all of that. So I've got these things over here, but I think we'll be okay. So we can go ahead and take that one off. I'm going to take this one off. This one should be able to reach all those. I think we're good. The only ones that we're going to have issues with are right here. And honestly, I can do this. Actually, we're not going to have an issue because I can do this right here. Boom. Done skis. I think that's everything. I think it's all we have to do. And all I have to do is mark them all and we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. I think everything's looking good here. I'm hoping that I didn't, I'm hoping that I didn't miss anything in here that like, I just can't see it, you know, but I, I don't think I, I don't think I did, you know, maybe I should have waited for the monorail network before I, <laughs> maybe I should have did the animal thing first. All right. You know what? Before we go any further, let's go ahead and let's set up the animal thing. Um, We'll set it up right here because we're going to have to take it away and let's go ahead and scan for animals. So we've got, what is this? Some kind of thing. Uh, let's just scan right here and see what happens. Hey, turtles. We did it first scan. <laughs> All right. So bats, maybe forest water. Okay. So not that. So maybe in here. Oh, they want salt water and fresh water. Okay. So about salt water, fresh water, and this. Okay, so salt water and fresh water. It didn't want rainforest. Uh, maybe this mangrove area. Fresh water, salt water. Oh, what does it want? Oh, maybe no. It didn't say beach either. Hmm. Maybe let's see what if it says beach. No, it doesn't say beach. 
What is the other area? Maybe just like a plains area? Huh. Not sure. I'm not sure what else. <gasps> coral wreath. Maybe it wants a coral wreath. Saltwater, freshwater, and a coral wreath. Yes. Oh, it's a manta ray. I thought it was a bat. <laughs> it's a manta ray. Okay. And then uh, birds. Uh, let's see what we got here. Is it a blue macaw? Oh, jungle. Okay. We need a little bit more jungle. Oh, it wants cliffs though too. Not enough cliffs. What is that? No buildings. Requirement fully met. Requirement fully met. No buildings in range. What? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's a parrot. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get. Four. Let's see if we can find any more. So that only requires two. Oh, ocean. Let's check this one right here. Outdated. Uh oh. Temperature in range of at least 16 coral wreaths and maybe it needs to be right here. Okay. So it needs coral reef mangrove. So coral reef mangrove. Oh, right here. So that'll be perfect. That should work. We got the shark, a reef shark. And then I don't know what this guy is, but maybe deep water. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> it was, we were almost right on. Um, ocean tiles in at least a deep ocean of a 10 tiles, uh, no land in range. Oh, we can do that. Okay. Hold on. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a whale. Is there a whale actually in there? I want to see the whale come up here. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's no whale. I see the fish. Oh, <gasps> there's a manta ray. Oh, hold on. There's got to be a whale coming in sometime, right? Come on, whale. I bet you it's huge, too. Do we even see the reef shark yet? <gasps> There's a reef shark right there. Maybe the whale isn't that big. Yeah, it's got to be big. It's a whale. I don't see it yet, though. It hasn't moseyed on in yet. Okay, anyways, let's continue on see if we can find any more. Uh, we only have one left. Uh, this guy, let's just go right here. Plains area, maybe? Okay, so no. See, I definitely feel like that's an ostrich. But right here, we got beach. We got... Oh, okay. Requirement fully in range of at least 10 beach tiles. 10 wetland tiles. All right, how about right here? Okay. Wetland and beach, you say, huh? About... Here? Would this be wetland and beach? Not enough. How about here? Enough beach, not enough wetland. How about here? Not. Nah. <laughs> Darn it! How about here? Oh, come on. There we go. We got flamingos! Hey, abundant life. We got it all. So we could definitely knock out all the life. All right, so all the life is good. Let's go ahead and let's set up our beacons. Let's bring everything back in. And I think we are gonna be good to go. I don't think we have anything else to worry about here. So we get all these cleaned up on the way back. Oh, look at this beautiful oceanscape. The poo water is gone. It feels good that the poo water's gone, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel good that the poo water's gone? The parrots are out. The, is that a, that's a parrot as well, a blue parrot. Uh, did we ever find a whale yet? No, we haven't found a whale yet. I want to see the whale. Are you in here? I see a jellyfish. Where is the whale? You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if I can scan uh, this area for a whale. And see if we can find... Uh, okay, so there should be a whale in this area too. We had all of the, right? We had all of them for the whale. Yes. 
Should be a whale in this area too. I want to see it. Oh, you know what? That actually reminds me. We need to clean up this thing right here. Boop. Okay. I want to see the whale. <laughs> Where's the whale? <laughs> I wonder if like the ocean's not big enough in this area. Like maybe we need some more tiles for like the whale to actually like load in. Maybe it's maybe you know it's it's probably big. But I haven't seen it over here and I haven't seen it over here yet. And I think those are the only two spots. Unless it's smaller than I think it is. Cause like there's a shark. I mean, I'm sure the whale's big, but maybe it's not like that. It's, it's probably pretty big. Look at the sharks go, the reef sharks. Oh, they're so happy. Such a happy reef shark. All right, the arrow show. No, there is something in the middle of the land. Darn it. <laughs> I knew there would be something. Oh, there's a there's a post from one of my things. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna have to figure this out. How do we get this? How do we get this back home? All right, actually, it's super easy. We'll just do that. Go in here, set up a monorail network here. Boom, easy enough. Okay. And then we can grab this. Oh my gosh. I was like, what the? <laughs> I knew there was gonna be something. I knew there was gonna be something. All right, so now we're good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and pop that off. Pop that one off. That one. That one. Go ahead and hit that one. These little nodes, they just like explode and then magically bring the stuff back. Don't know how it works, but it does. We've done it. My gosh. We have restored the ocean, the tropical area. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And with that, we shall lift off and take a screenshot because this place is absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. But that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We are going to come back because we have a few days left until Terry Neal actually comes out. So we're going to go back. We're going to revisit the other ones as uh, in in um, uh, the engineers, bioengineers or whatever engineering this is considered land engineering forestry engineer I can't remember what it's called now uh, but yes thank you so much for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and again if you're interested link down below I'll see you in the next one bye everybody